Hello everyone, meet the thyroid gland, which is also called the master regulator, as it controls the functions of many other organs such as the kidneys and the heart. Moreover, skeletal development and the maintenance of a healthy bone depend on a tightly controlled thyroid hormone status. Normally, bone resorption by osteoclasts and bone formation by osteoblasts are in balance. High thyroid hormone concentrations lead to an increase of both processes with a predominant bone resorption that can result in secondary osteoporosis and an elevated fracture risk. The transport of thyroid hormones into their target cells is guided through specific transporter proteins, such as the monocop oxalator transporter 8. In fact, this transporter was reported to be thyroid hormone specific and to import thyroid hormones with a high affinity. To investigate the role of MCG8, we had generated conditional knockout mice, specifically targeting either osteoblasts or osteoclasts. So, how will a targeted MCG8 deletion affect the bone? At first, we analyzed male mice with MCG8 knockout in osteoblasts regarding the trabecular bone volume, bone histology, and strength. We demonstrated that the bone volume was increased, likely due to an elevated osteoblast number at the tissue level. Further, those mice had improved bone strength. The osteoclast specific knockdown led also to a higher trabecular bone volume, however, caused by decreased osteoclast number and reduced bone resorption. Bone strength was not altered. In conclusion, we demonstrated that osteoblast as well as osteoclast specific MCT8 deletion results in improved bone volume and quality due to distinct underlying mechanisms. If you're now curious to find out more about the role of MCT8 in bone, come to my poster.